everyone, welcome back to the Deloitte Women's Premier League show. We are back here at the Deloitte Lawn, you know, a very nice place where the staff like to hang out. And of course, we are joined by two wonderful guests. But before that, I just want to remind you guys that you can get all the highlights and all the action from the Women's Premier League here on the Facebook page and also on SG Women's Football. Don't forget to, of course, leave your comments and let us know who you want to see on the show. Well, today I have two very familiar faces in Singapore football. If you've been watching the Tri Nations and covering the Lionesses, even following them, you would know who they are. Of course, I'm joined today by Hazel Lim from Belize Calsa, as well as Stephanie Dominguez, who of course scored recently in the Tri Nations. Welcome, girls. How are you doing? Uh, doing good. Yeah, feeling, feeling very excited about everything. Feeling good. A bit tired, but like I'm excited to be here. Yeah. Okay, and I'm so happy to have you guys. It's an honor because you know we're really excited about the start of the Women's Premier League, and you guys, you know, had a great week. Hazel, let's start with you first. A clean sheet to start off, you know, your WPL uh, campaign. So, how are you feeling about that? Uh, it was good. It was a great opening match for the league, and also, um, but personally, I feel that uh, I was a bit sloppy here and there. Still can be improved, but I was just glad to be able to actually contribute to the team's draw, especially when it was personally it was such a tough game because I was. I was throwing my body everywhere, yeah. And what about you, Steph? You scored as well. Wow, well, you know what a fantastic goal that was. Thank Everybody's you. talking about it. So, how are you feeling about that one? Um, it's really great. Um, it was one of my best uh, goals so far in my life. But uh, I, I would say there's more to come. Yeah, uh, like so, uh, I'm excited to see uh, how it's gonna pan out. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people were wondering, so you just said one of the best goals you scored because it was a very really long range effort. So I wanted to ask you, did you practice like, you know, for that? How, how do you usually, yeah. you know, prepare for, for a game like this? Um, yeah, actually I practice, especially that shot, uh, quite a lot, especially during my, uh, uh, my trainings in school because I have a lot of time there. Um, especially that range because uh, I know that's my, um, my specialty, lah. <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> that Ooh. range, yeah. Yeah, I mean, we're looking forward to seeing more goals, you know, from you in the upcoming season. We've got a long season ahead of us. So, Hazel, I want to ask you as well, how have you, you know, um, prepared for, for this season? Uh, I think it's been good um, building up to this league. I've been training with the national team. So, I've been getting quite a bit of exposure since I've been, uh, I followed them to Thailand. So, I wouldn't say I was completely off the scene. So, yeah, um, I think I'm... Ready for this league? Yeah, I'm ready for whatever is going to throw at me. <laughs> ready for Ballester Khalsa, you know, anyone to come at Ballester. I mean, Stephanie, for, for yourself, you know, we all, we've all we been following you as well on the national mm -hmm. team. But I want to ask you as well, still area, you know, not many people in Singapore, you know, probably know about them. So why do you choose to, to be with still area? I'm sure that many other clubs must have been gunning for your signature, right? Um, to be honest, not really. But um, I chose still area is purely because it was the nearest to my house. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, but now it's the furthest to my house. So you but moved house. Yeah. Um, no, the location of the training moved okay. yeah, to the other side of the island. So <laughs> 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 but I chose to stick with them because um, I like how coach um, his attacking playing style and like it's it's aligned to mine. So um, and and how how well the, the the team gelled up together to, the, on the preparations to the to the game. So, uh, yeah. Okay, that's really interesting. I mean, speaking of clubs, right? Hazel Ballester, the first time ever they're having a women's team, I believe. So, you know, can you tell me how you came to join Ballester, or did they poach you? So, um, all the players inside were formerly like from Sime. So then, um, because I was from Tiong Bahru, um, the previous season we played, it was like two years ago. So um, I wanted to join a new team. So I was just, um, I thought, because our head coach currently is Coach Rana. Yeah. So then he asked me to go over to play for him because he didn't have a keeper, which I agreed Ooh. to because I love playing under him. Yeah, he okay. actually understands my style of play. So I didn't have to actually worry much about that. Shout yeah. out to Coach Ratna, you know, for getting Hazel, you know, to be our keeper. I want to ask you, you know, speaking of goalkeeper, it's not exactly the most glamorous position and also it's quite challenging um, as well. So can I just ask you, how did you start and why did you decide to, to become a, a keeper? Um, all positions, yeah. I didn't... I 
didn't start as a keeper, so I was a striker back when Ooh. I was like. Why do all goalkeepers always start? <laughs> it's I, a thing. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but I think because um, I think goalkeeper isn't really very popular, so that's why nobody started off as a goalkeeper. But yeah, so I was so as I started as a goalkeeper, then when I joined the club back then, so they needed a keeper, right? So. I thought, okay lah, why not um, I just volunteer because I played basketball before that so I think my handling was there. So then I joined, then I actually got scouted when I was in secondary school as a goalkeeper. So then ever since, I just stuck on with that um, position. And I mean, Steph, speaking of positions, I mean, striker is, I would say, you know, definitely a position mm -hmm. that most people want to play. But was that always where you started when you started first started playing football? Um, I first started playing football, I was actually playing on the left wing because nobody <laughs> can play that position and I'm the only person who can run for our, my first team. Then I was like, because I was just started uh, playing my football, right? So I didn't know what position I could play and then they just threw me there and then I, yeah, <laughs> from there and then I just play around. You know, let's talk about you guys personally. How are you all like juggling? Right now, what are you doing, Hazel? Are you working as well or schooling? I'm studying. You're studying. Yeah. You as well studying? Oh no, I just graduated. Oh, just graduated. Congrats yeah. on that. So I want to ask, like, how do you juggle, like, you know, your football and also what you do? I think for me, um, um, I have class every day, right? So a lot of it usually ends quite late. So I would usually, or if let's say I have like one or two hours in between, I would just head straight to training venue to like maybe take a nap right before training starts. Um, and as for like club trainings, right, because he's coach Rana and he's also our assistant coach. So like if for some days that I actually feel more tired or like lethargic, I will actually let him know and he will actually like um, let me rest at home. Okay. Yeah. But Ballester, can you tell me how Ballester have been, uh, you know, so how, how supportive they've been towards you as well, even your teammates? Oh, they, they always like um, show support like over social media, always like um, um, coming down to watch like um, like let's say Tri Nations like I didn't actually play it, but they did actually come down to support like the whole okay, team. Okay, wow. Yeah, interesting. And and what about you, Steph? Um, still Aaron, as I mentioned, I think I've kind of known about them in the women's scene for mm -hmm. a while now. They've got quite a strong culture of women's football. So, like, how are your teammates like in terms of this season? Are you guys gunning for the title? Or, you know. Oh yes, of course, obviously. Um, that's what we want now uh, to be the first in the in this season because the last season we were second yeah so uh that's what we want uh that's what we aim for the the, the trophy yeah <laughs> but we'll talk about okay who do you think you know will be the strongest contenders i mean you're oh. against you guys i think many people have, we kind of know on this show kind of know. um i guess it's uh lcs because yeah, as we all know uh, most of their team is made up from the national team so it will be challenging, it will be fun, but I think it will we'll put up a good fight with them. Okay, yeah. let's see. We still have a long way to go, yeah, until the rest of the season. Okay, Hazel, let's go to you because, you know, you're a goalkeeper. So I want to ask you, do you have a favourite international women's keeper or even could be male or female, it doesn't matter? Um, I don't actually have a favourite one because um, I do watch the Women's Super League, right? So yeah. I do think that... I do actually take inspiration from a lot of the keepers, so I'll just watch, I watch a lot of games, the women's games, yep. not much of the men's, but um, I think from there, I will just pick out like their strengths and like what I could actually improve on. So okay. I will just like um, imagine how, what I would actually do in that situation. So yeah, then I will, then I will see what they will do. Then I'll be like, oh yeah, this, this, um, this is what I can do or cannot do. Okay. Yeah. And positioning is so important for both of you. I mean, just in general in football, goalkeepers always get the brunt of the blame, for example, if you guys concede. But so you would say, who's the most important, like, you know, teammate for you? Is it your centre back? Is it, you know, in terms of, of, of making sure that the communication is good? Uh, my centre back, yeah, is because, um, le like, let's say um, she, she misses the ball or whatever, right? I would have to be the one, like, going out or I have yes. to decide to actually stay back. So her positioning is also really very important for me to like um, um, like for me to decide whether I should actually be off my line or I should be on my line. Yeah. You know, you still have a clean sheet, so fingers crossed that you won't concede any. But you know, goalkeepers, like I said, always get a lot of of, of brunt. But how do you deal with that? You know, if if in the past when you when you know when you made conceded goals, I think it all comes down to my um, performance. Like I wouldn't really let it get to my head. So if I think that I had a good game then I wouldn't care what other people say. But if like I had a bad game, 
I would just take their feedback like um, where I can improve on. So I wouldn't like really look much on the negative side of it. Yeah. Okay. All right, Steph. You know you were very much involved in the recent Tri Nations, mm -hmm. but also the Lionesses have been getting a lot of support. You know from the fans. You know for the Sea Games as well. So what are your thoughts on that? It's amazing, like the support. Um, we have more players watching us. We have um, international players also uh, DMing, uh, messaging me through Instagram, uh, showing their support. And it's amazing because um, through all this, the publicity and all that um, is growing the sport. Our young players, our young younger girls are joining us, so it's really great. And it's the it's the right direction, and I hope. Uh, more sponsors, like for example, Deloitte uh, sponsoring the WPL. Um, uh, more sponsors will join us and uh, ha we have more exposure. Yeah. Well said, I mean, women's football is on the rise, so long may it continue, Steph and Hazel as well. Okay, it's now time for us to have a look at the highlights for match week two. It was a very exciting round of action, so let's have a look.
Now let's have a look at the standings for match day two. You know, a very exciting round of action and, and it looks like, you know, the table is slowly shaping up. And also we have the upcoming games for match week three. Definitely stay tuned for all the live streams on the SG Women's Football YouTube page. Alright guys, now it's time for the fun part of the show where we ask more about you guys. I can see you're all looking quite excited. Okay, let's start with you first, Steph. I mean, you mentioned some international players just now, but do you have a favourite, you know, player of the moment? It doesn't have to be women in general. Um, not really because I don't really watch. Okay. But I have a favourite teammate, which... Aww. It's not, it's not currently playing right now, but she retired a few years ago. She is actually Yanni. Ah, yes, uh, the previous yes. captain of the national team. Um, I just like how she leads the team and how she, like, on and off the pitch, she is the best, like, person to come to and, like, talk to and, um, she's really my inspiration and how I always look up to her, always. And, uh, she always tell me two things, always to, like, do my best and be humble. So, yeah. Nice. Shout out to Yanni, by the way, for being inspiration, not mm. just to you, but I'm sure to many of the women in football. Okay. Hazel, what do you do to improve your game, you know, since like, you know, I'm sure that you have your own hobbies or, or things that you do. Can you share? So, uh, outside of football, I actually do uh, game a bit. Oh, so, nice. on my rest days, um, if I'm not playing football or if I'm not studying, I will actually be on my computer or like on my phone games. Yeah, I'd like to... What games do you play? Uh, I play, for mobile, I do play like um, Apex or Call oh, of Duty. Wow, Call of Duty! <laughs> You're a gamer, right? I never knew that. Okay. If on computer, I would say like um, Valorant. That's the main one. Oh, yeah, Valorant's a lot of fun actually. Yeah. Do, you, do you play any games then? No. <laughs> <laughs> how, I don't play any phone <laughs> games. I don't play any computer games. <laughs> how, so how do you like, you know, rewind or relax outside football? Um, my hobbies is to actually go to the beach and relax. I like to, I love the sun. I love the sand. I love just eating my pizza and um, <laughs> just uh, drinking a nice iced uh, lime tea. Um, but other than that, I just love sleeping and uh, actually I love also like cycling at night. Wow, yeah. that's yes. a vibe. Cycling at night is a vibe, yeah. isn't it? Must be at night. <laughs> must be, must at, be night. at night. <laughs> Cannot be anytime, but must be at night. Hazel, hey, so what about you? Do you like to go to the beach as well? Like, I think that's a, a thing that a lot of footballers and a lot of, of people like in general because of you get to relax and all, right? Yeah, yeah. It's actually very. It's actually good recovery also because when we go to the beach, we do play like beach football or like volleyball even. Mm. Yeah, so mm. it's actually good recovery for ourselves. Yeah. Okay. Um, I want to ask you guys now. Um, you know, which players should we look out for in your team besides you? Besides you, you Fana. Ah, <laughs> immediately. <laughs> Fana. Oh, and Fana. and Africa. Uh, Africa. This two, yeah. Uh, the the previous game last week. Yeah. Uh, we can tell that. Um. Fana has been going down the, the line on the right the side. Flanks, yeah. yeah, the flanks. And you can see she's uh, a killer. Ah, she's street. a killer. Yeah, she's a killer. <laughs> yeah. Is it all about yourself, Velestia, anyone that you should look out for? For me, definitely would be Mastura and Wada. Because Mastura is a really, she's very solid in midfield. And like, oh, she's, she's scoring goals like, like it's nothing. Yeah, yeah, and for Wada, she's an upcoming um, player, young player. And she's also my defender. So Whoa, yeah, so I do definitely. love her there. Yeah. <laughs> the comms must be good. Okay, we will be looking out for these players that you mentioned. But I want to ask you as well, back to some of the challenges you face, Steph. Not, not just in women's football, but yourself personally. Like, you know, coming through the ranks. You know, how have you overcome some of the challenges? And can you share with us as well? Because uh, I actually started really late, at the age of 17. So my challenge is to actually keep up with the intensity of like uh, the national team. Because when I first started, I, I actually joined the national team on the same year where I started uh, football. So like the intensity uh, is pretty high. Yep. Um, so what I did was actually I self-trained a lot, even until wow. now. So after like training uh, at wherever, uh, I'll, be go I'll, I'll go home and self-train uh, under my block sometimes. Wow, that, yeah. that requires a lot of discipline yeah, and yeah. dedication. And, and Hazel, what about yourself? You know, what are some of the challenges you faced um, in this field, I would say? Um, I think for myself, it would be more of like um, breaking through the ranks, especially with the likes of Wati and Beatrice. It's quite difficult to break through, but uh, I think I've just, I've just been trying to like keep myself motivated and like in the sport, especially for the past two years with COVID. So um, 
I I just I take it day by day. Yeah. That's that's the most important. Yeah. You know, you, you mentioned the two goalkeepers as well. In general, the goalkeeper position is very competitive and I mean in men's football is very similar, you know. I know yeah. players who have not even played like an entire game in a season, you know. So I can imagine but you are still quite young in, in general compared to the other two keepers, right? Yeah, yeah. I would say um I'm I'm still trying to learn from them. Like now okay. they're still training the team. Yeah, so still trying to um I'm still trying to learn from them and like yeah, learn from them one step at a time. Okay, yeah. I want to go now to something fun which we were talking about earlier and that's hairstyles, okay guys? <laughs> and it's important to me. Okay? So Steph, you know, I know that you guys have 90 minutes on the field. How do you get your hair to last? Like, is there any wax or anything that you do? Yeah, I use gel actually, hard gel. Must be extra hard gel <laughs> so it can stay up. But I don't think it can last the whole 90 minutes though because I see all the photos after that, I'll be like, what is this? <laughs> it's like porcupine. And then it's like, um, but it's okay, it's like my style of uh, my hair and it's like I love how people just call me porcupine, it's quite cute. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've seen you on the field actually, you know. But your hair still lasts that long. Do you have you ever considered putting a hairband or like a you know, something to keep it there or does that distract you? Would it Um I used to have the hairband. Yeah. But like with my long hair. Yeah. Like long ago. How many years? Long ago, ago guys. <laughs> I'm gonna dig up those photos. <laughs> <laughs> um but um no, because if I just put the hairband right, it's just gonna Oh really? It's like a fireworks now. It's not like <laughs> it's not even Pokemon. It's like a firework. But, yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, stay tuned. You know to how Steph's hair evolves throughout the season. We've got a couple of weeks left. Okay, Hazel, what about yourself? You know you're there. You know in the net <laughs> defending the goalpost. So you know you gotta get your hair. No lah, hairstyle isn't really very important for me. I just like yeah. tie a very simple ponytail. Yeah, that it won't really affect me much. It doesn't yeah. affect you much. <laughs> I, I've always wondered, you know, like those people with long hair. If I were to play, probably I have to have a bun, you know, on the top. Because, mm-hmm. you know, it always gets in your, your I hair. would do it, but like, because I'm diving and everything, so it would just fall off. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, so it, it, it's not the tight bun enough. Yeah, yeah. Okay, because I saw on Tri Nations, and I always say on the show, is that some of your teammates had braids on and everything, mm. you know. I think it was Dorcas and yeah. mm. a few others. I don't know, does it help my... I want to braid my hand too, but it is... <laughs> ah, um, <laughs> still short. Yeah, you probably have a couple, six months lah. I think <laughs> yeah, your hair can go. Okay guys, I mean, you know, before we go, I just wanted to remind you all that you, you can follow all the action on the WPL Deloitte uh, Premier League page and also SG Women's Football for all the highlights and also the live streams. And in the coming weeks, we're going to have a lot of giveaways. Jerseys, as you can see behind, from signing from some of the top national players from Brazil and also Singapore and also some of the biggest legends in women's football. And I just want to say thank you so much, Steph, as well as Hazel, for joining me today. And don't forget to, of course, catch all their games and also the coming weeks as well. I'm Ash Ashe from Futbolita. And see ya!